Look at you, drunk at golly. Yeah. So let's let's sit your ass down a little bit. Yeah. Have a seat. Get a rest. Oh. Uh -huh. Have a little rest. It's a fucking challenge. Oh hell no. Uh huh. <laughs> right in the neck. Um, go go lay down. Go sleep this off, bitch. Oh, uh, hell yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Eat that. How you like that? I feel good. Hungry? Shit. Let's go. Let's go wash you off. Uh. Oh, he pulled out a knife. Psych. 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 I just got a haircut. I don't need another shave, buddy. <laughs> what is good YouTube It's your boy LSG Melly And I'm bringing you guys One hell of a goat series bro Anything that Telltale has touched Has been mwah, Instant classics I am here To relive a goat Of all goats Well honestly it's hard, it's hard to compare this game with The Walking Dead because The Walking Dead has mad games under their belt and they were all fire. Well, the main games were. I didn't really like uh, 400 Days. Eh. But that's besides the point. I'm getting off topic. Every YouTube channel that is, that is successful or that should be successful has this game on it bro i am ready to be lit with y'all bro we about to have fun i love this game so much i don't remember too much about it i like all games that i've played i don't remember much but bro we about to have a good time get your snacks get get under your favorite blanket make sure that ac is cranked up not too high not too low just right you know add a fan on for a little razzle dazzle but don't get sick though because i didn't do, if you get sick that's not my fault but bro i'm so excited to be playing this for you guys this is about to be fun you guys are liking the content please like and subscribe turn notification bell on i will be beating this game then i'll be hopping on to the walking dead series and then the, the, there's a batman series that i want to try out never played the batman series so I'm waiting for a long, a long fire journey, y'all. But stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. Yes, sir, guys. Episode one, Faith. <sighs> Can't wait. <clears throat> this game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Yes, sir. The greatest... Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Though so through the use of magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. Yeah, cause shit get hectic. One thing I like about Telltale games, you could play this game a million times and have different outcomes every single time because this is a choice based game maybe how i played it the first time is not how i want to play it this time <laughs> look at the big bad wolf let's go yo i am hyped bro 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 you guys don't understand i love the wolf among us i love the wolf among us bro Oh my gosh. This is probably like my second. Now this is, yeah, this is my second or third time playing it. 
I remember I never completed one playthrough. Um, I have beat the game, but there's one playthrough I didn't beat. And I think that was the last, the last one. No, what happened was I played, I beat the, I beat it the first time. Then the second time I started it, but I never finished it. I ended up starting a new game. Oh, so I only beat this game once, honestly. Yeah, I beat the game once. But I played it three times. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. Um... No need to kick up a fuss. Nah, man, where you, wait, nah, bro. Where's your glamour? enough of your excuses, Toad. This is unacceptable. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You are an animal. You know what I mean. You're a big ass Go frog. See a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? This is America. First of all, it's just you and your son. I don't make the rules, not my problem. Get it fixed. I don't make the rules. Sorry. Yeah. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. You gotta Fuck be firm. I hell. still am the big bad See? wolf. This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. Okay, let's just go. I should probably go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. Man thought just because he called me, I was gonna give him a pass for not being in glamour. Look at that. Very prick job shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. Damn. All, all he did, he went upstairs. What the hell? <laughs> Jesus. No, I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me. Let's go. All right, put that back on the thing. The things you pick up can be useful later. Take a look. Take a good look. You know who I okay. am now? Hey, look at me. Let's probably just kick that shit in. God Fuck. damn you! No way. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey! You got something uh. on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! Um. You fucker! Alright, what's going on here? <laughs> Ah! What are you gonna fucking do, huh? I'm about to beat your get ass. Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Are oh, you talking hot? This is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. It's not at all. I'm ready. <laughs> Look at you, drunk at God, leave. Yeah. So let's let's sit your ass down a little bit. Yeah. Have a seat. Get a rest. Ugh. Uh -huh. Have a little rest. It's a fucking challenge. Oh hell no. Uh huh. <laughs> right in the neck. Um. Go go lay down. Go sleep this off. Bitch. Oh. Uh. Hell yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Eat that. How you like that? That feel good? Hungry? Shit. Let's go. Let's go wash you off. Uh. Oh, he pulled out a knife. Psych. 
Spike. Psych. Psych. I just got a haircut. I don't need another shave, buddy. Fuck me. Go read a book. Is that a bookshelf? Damn, I'm blind. That's not a bookshelf. Psych. Get drunk ass. Sit down. Yeah. Yo, we beating his ass. Oh, you got the axe now. Psych. Mm-hmm. Mine now. Sit down. Little drunk prick. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. You hear me? Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. <laughs> Fuck right? you. Shit. Uh, you need to leave. It's best you just get out of here. I can't go until this deadbeat pays me. For what? I let you slap me around for a while. You're lucky I'm not charging extra. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Okay, what happened? What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry. You saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off. Um. I don't. Why was he hitting you? Maybe you should ask him that. I will, but I asked you first. <laughs> Excuse me. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved the little red riding hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Oh, yeah, let's hey, we out. What did I say? I said be nice. Or you wait out. Uh huh. Damn, I know they not waking up until tomorrow. I mean, I don't know why I asked her what she's doing here. It's obviously, it's obvious she's a she's a fucking uh prostitute. I asked her a dumb question, bro. Oh, that was his car. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Man's not even offering oh, no, to pay. By all means, take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Let me see. How's your insurance? So, uh, how good is your insurance? I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Oh, you want some more? Oh, yeah. No. Enough of this. No! Y'all losing! Bro, I'm losing. I'm about to die. My arm is hurting. Oh, I was about to turn into the wolf. That would have been valid. Why did he want me to transform so bad? I was. If I would have transformed, this would have been way worse for you. How are you still crawling around? You have an axe in your head. 
Might even want to say anything. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. They do that sometimes. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. They are supposed to do that. I'm a wolf. Great. Damn, he the guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> All right, all right. He's had enough. He's a feeble. <laughs> Son of a bitch can take plenty. I mean, true, because he's supposed to be dead. No regular person taking an axe to the head. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Ah, I felt that for some reason. Uh, light her cigarette. I'm not giving her a matchbook. Here. Thanks. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey. You like my ribbon? Um What? If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. My we all sort of knew each other at one point or another. My son, Big B out here buying prostitutes, bro. Change, I guess. How else would I you guess. know, Shorty? Where the hell he go? Man, just got up and walked it off. Stop. He's gonna we be. We don't a have problem. to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Um. This is Fable Town. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. That's not what I mean. You fallen in love? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty handed. That's not my problem. I'll be fine. I'm not. I'm not giving her that. I really wish I could help. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. You got me out of a bad situation. Why the hell would I give? What? Thanks. Prostitution's illegal. I'm still gonna need a statement. The I hell? have to go. I'm a cop. Off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. <laughs> I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. Yo! Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Oh, really now? Yo, I'll she... I'll see you around. She's in... She, she, she likes the kid. She feeling the kid. Um... Bro, what I was about to say... Bro, I... Yo, Telltale, they... They're back in business again, and I wonder what they're working on. I hope it's the Wolf Among Us 2. This deserves a sequel. I don't remember the ending too clearly, but I do remember it ending on a cliffhanger that needs to be 
solved. Like this was a you know, a lot of you guys probably seen the ending. A lot of you guys probably played this multiple times, so you know how this ends. Tell me what you think. Do you want this to be a series? Do you want this to be a? Do you want this game to have a sequel? Is what I'm trying to ask. Because I sure do. It's not fair that The Walking Dead have four main games and like two side games and this only had one game that's not fair even the batman shit i think had two games yeah i can't wait to get to the batman's uh story though i never played it i want to play it i think i played the first episode because it was free and i never bought any of the other episodes so that's gonna be a fun one that's gonna be a fun one <laughs> yeah i'm hyped bro this yo Telltale games make me excited, bro. It's something about these, man. Don't get me wrong. I'm lit with whatever game I'm playing, but this, these games? Masterpieces, instant classics. I remember me and my friends, we used to like, when, when these came out, we used to beat them and not spoil it until the other one beat it. While we, and then we would just talk about it until the next episode came out, bro. We was lit. We was lit, bro. Up, oh, already saw you, ma'am. Come on out. All right, all right. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful. You see things. me before I seen you. What you mean? No, can't. Damn it, I'm late. Late for what? You out here prostituting too? Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. <laughs> oh, Beauty and the Beast. Okay. So much as it is, and it would just make my life. That's a lot not easier. my business, bro. Just please. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will. You valid. Have to go. She out here selling that coochie. It's not what you might be thinking. What am I thinking? Because I just saved a prostitute not too long ago. Am I going to be getting a brrr from your ass later on? Talking about some big beaky. Come save me. Please don't tell my husband. Like, come on now. <laughs> Yo! Some security guard we have. Anybody could just come rob our shit. Let me go check my mail. Been a while since I got any mail. Nobody bang with me, bro. Day in a row. Side. Seventh? Golly. Beast. Yes, sir. Somebody could come rob this place right now. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Yeah, I have. I have no reason to so, lie. 
Have you? Yeah, I did. What? When? Just now. You saw her just now. Just a few seconds ago. She walked past me. You can probably still catch her. Thanks. Listen, that's between y'all. I probably should have lied to her, but I don't see. It's, I don't know who he's known first. Did he know Beauty first or Beast first? But he probably met them together. If I if I had to guess, so it's best he just tell the truth. If he knew Beauty first, he could lie first because that's that's his man's. But if he knew Beast first, then you tell him the truth. But I did tell the truth though. I'm not gonna like 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 Big B said it himself. He, he's staying out of it. I didn't say anything wrong. All I said was I seen her. I didn't say she was sneaking out of here. What? I didn't I didn't go into detail, you feel me? So hey, 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 hey. I need to crack open a cold one, bro. Please have some beer. This man only has ice in his fridge. You're a wolf. You don't eat. You have a job, bro. And I just picked up some money. Well, I have money right here. Go buy something to eat, dog. Why do I even own this? Huff and puff. All he do is keep his cigarettes in there, bro. Huff and puff. Wait, he's the wolf from, is he the wolf from the three little pigs or the wolf from the um, little red riding hood? Is it the same wolf or am I tripping? They cousins, they brothers, father and son, I'm lost. I don't really read, like I, I know the fairy tales, but I'm not really like too, not too like familiar with the lore and backstories of them. It gotta be hot in there. You just got into a whole tussle, bro. I know you fuming right now. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, oh, my boy. Oh, Colin. I forgot about homie here. Huh? Hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? <laughs> I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. How the hell? He got a pig. It, what's this pig glamour supposed to be? Is that the three? Smoke? Is that the three little pig? Is that one of the three little pigs? Aren't they enemies? Why is he living with me? Did I eat his brothers? I have, so, I have so many questions right now. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. He did blow his house down. Wow. The fresh air and wow. sunshine which they sell you on. Is bullshit. I never I caught that the first time. To end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Come on, that's a little dramatic. Wait, I need to turn these subtitles on. I'm tripping. So I did blow his house down. So we're supposed to be enemies. Why is why is this pig living with me? that for me nope the house didn't blow itself down bigby that's all i'm saying do with that what you will now i'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink but uh it would have helped these some of the pain you once caused me yes stop with it the also would have shown everyone how different you are now stop with the con artist shit go ahead take a sip stop you you you're you're, going, you're, you're begging at this point Nice. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. I 
don't want nothing to say. It probably also has something to do with how engaging you are in conversation. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Fair. Look, fair. I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. I was doing my job. I got attacked first. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Nah. Fuck you. <laughs> uh... You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. Yeah, get some new material, gang. That shit was nasty. <laughs> That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Uh-uh. Not everyone. Name one. Beauty. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I kept her from making a bad situation worse. Right. Yeah. That's real nice of you. Mm hmm I was I was gonna contemplate saying told, but Life even easier with friends, big even big. Colin would have knew that was bullshit. Fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself, but I've seen the way you look at snow. Okay, you're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep. Oh talking. my gosh! Stop begging. Right, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Here. Take the damn drink, bro. You've been begging me. You begged me three times tonight, and I just got here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Big B. I need how about they go to sleep my damn self? It's three o'clock in the morning. Okay, okay. Gee. What are you fixing? Your but your shirt's not even buttoned. Big B. Snow. Come with me. Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Who's well, this nerd? Evening. <laughs> yeah. Mans. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Roger that.
Mm. You knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? Nah, just a, she? just a lowly I prostitute. I knew everyone in Fable Town. She was a prostitute. Really? I never caught her real name. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Woodsman. He attacked her. I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... Terrible. Uh, who found her? It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There We're not... There been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. We're not gonna know who All did this. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. So stop making the assumptions. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Why don't you guys set up a crime scene? Like, tape it off. People can't come in or out right now. Or go through the back door. Whatever the case. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. True. What kind of monster would do this? You could tell because if she was tossed, the blood from the end would have like flew somewhere. It would have been like when it hit like this, it would have. It's it's just this blood right here. So it's like hmm, interesting. I don't think the woodsman did it because the woodsman, the woodsman, the woodsman wanted her dead. Like he was fuming. He would have, if he killed her, he would have threw her shit like a football. Ugh, no gloves? It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Strange cut. What did this to her? That's a clean ass what cut. could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it <sighs> I'm I'm sorry this is just so surreal <sighs> Um what what do you want to do next? Mm, I'm gonna have a look around. We still have some time. I should keep it back. Definitely gonna look around, bro. Okay, good idea. I don't know what much I'll find. I can't go back in there. They don't got no. Y'all don't got no. Cam you would think a complex, a gated area like this would have some cameras. What did Blue say? Suspicious. Suspicious. I pray I found that clip. Trash. Ooh, we got blood. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Nah, that would be. They would have placed her at a weird ass angle. That was. This did not cut her. Oh, wait. Scrap of fabric. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Bro, where are your gloves, dude? Oh, what? I missed this. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. It's gotta have something to do with the blood on the fence. Aren't you a wolf? Isn't your nose supposed to be very keen? You can't smell this or smell the head. 
and and smell like other DNA that might have been on it. Huh. I hate how smart I am. Sometimes I be finding flaws and I be trying to expose it instead of just enjoying stuff. I can't help it though. That's just how my brain be working. But nonetheless, classic game, still loving it. Mm, show the fabric before we start the conversation. Insane. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. Insane. Why would you think she did? <laughs> we should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Um. Why her? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I have a theory. I have to talk Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think, like, he's right. They purposely put the head there so the police could find it, so they can purposely go and investigate what's going on. Because I don't want to spoil it though for those of you who don't know. I don't fully know everything neither, Andy but I know I probably know plane, more than so somebody who's probably him. watching me right It'll now. Just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but and I don't want to spoil that. Then this is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully, he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been uh, standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? I work here. Be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> You are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Big B. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. I should have stayed oh, out of this. The then. man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because um, right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah. Her pimp. Her... Was she, a? Uh... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. 
You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes, sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. Fuck it. Got nothing to say. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Crane's not here. Never mind. Smoke away. Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. What the fuck is that? What is this thing? A monkey bird? The hell? Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Ready to go home. It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. <laughs> Why would I tell him to fuck That's off? He didn't do anything to me. That is crazy. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi. Oh, Genie. Come on. He better be in there, too. Knock, knock. Worth a try. Damn, they killed Genie. Mm -hmm. Or they evicted him from his home because he didn't have glamour. <laughs> oh, that was a bad joke. That was a bad joke. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Huh? What Your rule? impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel. But have some respect for our history and rules. What rules? What are you talking about? Mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, was that? So oh, I got a rhyme. Yeah, this ain't Doctor Seuss, man. Kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Um. Let's check on the woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What, what? you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. Not like he was going oh, into a... Um... I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Damn, I got nothing. Was that a bar? Uh... I don't know her name. That's not going to be helpful. Buffkin. Buffkin and Snow is in the room. I don't care what they're Nobody doing. Right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you.
Yo, my eyes are red. I need to go to bed, son. Ha, ah, rhymed. Ha, <laughs> unintentional. My eyes are red. Go to bed. All right, um. Damn, who do I even talk to? I'll talk to the, the, the green chicken. Monkey. Oh, book of symbols. Nice. Wait, what that what was the what was the ring? I don't Is that oh that's oh yeah we found it. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. <clears throat> yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairo. I'll go look it up. Alairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> I prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. That's tough. Well, Should we got I a name. Mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Well, mark her as dead. Damn. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? <sighs> um... No. I don't, but we need to let him know about his wife. Why would he kill her? Unless he didn't know she was prost being a prostitute. He found out and then what the fuck was you? Nah, <laughs> I need to go to bed, bro. I start Any information on fables in our community. Like I look high as hell and I'm not. We I'm already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. I'm actually really sober, guys, right now. Like, I'm proud of myself. I'm just tired. That's why my eyes are low and red. Long time ago. Ew, who's this? I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. <laughs> nice hat. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss finest moment hard to understand how he ended up running this place well maybe it's time that changed yeah. Colin and his brothers what happened to his brothers did I eat them I really think Big B ate them What happened to her? She died. I killed her. I know I was trying to kill her. That's the woodsman. Look at that axe. I know that all too well. Red well, Bigby does. Knight in shabby armor. The woodsman. Yep, and his axe. He was such a good guy in his stories. How the hell did he end up such a scumbag? And there's me. Had a good day. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. 
I think we covered everybody. Did we? Yep, we covered everybody. Um let's hold on, what's what else is going on in here? Okay. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing. I only translate. That's it. Ooh. What's it say about that? It says brickle bit in an older elfish hand. What's brickle bit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animal shit gold. It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. Alter is sick. What? Alright, we checked everything in this book. Let's go back to the mirror. Let's ask him some shit. Um, mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, 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 about this fable. I'm screaming. Of which fable do you wish to know? Uh, faith. Show me, show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bailey. It's simply the way this has to be. So, my thing is, if she... <sighs> Still don't want to spoil it. Show me Faith's father, the old king. He's dead? I guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Why would he have been a suspect in the first place? He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Is What's that a, he been doing? Is that a dagger on the floor? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frame. Wait, this place takes yep, place in New York? One. I can take us there. Where the hell have I been, bro? I did, bro. I did not know this place took place in New York. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. So what borough are we in right We're now? Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he. Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Toad is gonna have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Damn. I don't wanna... Be Prince Lawrence, he looked dead though. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know, it's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help too. Well, where to first? 
Damn. I don't know. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Damn, chat. Damn, this is something I wish I could have been streaming right now. But it's late. Nobody would have been in my stream anyway. What's her husband's name? Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over him, Big B, before he. Oh, wait, hang on. Do something, Big B. Before he completely tears up the place. What do I care about somebody going through the woodsman stuff, though? That has nothing to do with me. We need to tell him about his wife. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough... Toad. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. We'll have to. Why don't we just catch a cab? We, we're gonna walk there? Where, where are y'all cars? Aren't y'all police? Where the police cars at? Or sheriffs? I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? This is where Prince lives, the South just Bronx. Humor me. I didn't. Let's just keep our focus on questioning Lawrence, where she was, who she was with, that sort of thing. Nigga, use a window shopper. Mad at me, I think I know why. Oh, he dead. That nigga dead. Might as well. Should we climb through the window? Nah, don't say nothing. Just climb through the window. We're police. All we're right. Don't... We'll try this out. Guess we're out of options. Come on, help me up. Somebody shot his ass. Uh... We need to figure out what the hell is going on here. So we could rule him out as a suspect Who too. Do this to them? Unless he shot himself. I doubt yeah. that though. All right, we got a lot to dissect here. showed me this it's sharp there's blood on the blade I just don't understand why would someone want to kill him sheesh okay inspect the blood how old is it it's still a little sticky relatively recent okay We'll check that in a minute. Bullet hole. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Again, no gloves. Let's go check this guy. Check to see if he has a pulse. That left a mark. Ruined his shirt. So was he stabbed or shot? What are they? Did he overdose? Prescription sleeping pills. They're empty too. They never really look peaceful, do they? I wouldn't know. Smell the casing.
You would think him being a wolf, he will smell stuff to, to get better, like, you know, clues. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. True. Nah, he look wicked, bro. So this is where Prince lives, huh? This is some royalty. Son of a... Start to the bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. Is that a suicide note? He killed himself. I know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. <gasps> oh my God, Bigby, he's alive. What? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing here? What's going on? We found you here, in your chair, with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that, Snow. Do you know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? What? What's this about? When was the last time you saw your wife, Lawrence? I... I don't know. A few weeks ago. She came by to get some things. That's what she said. But I, I think it was so she could leave some money. I, I didn't find it till later. We've been separated for some time now. Oh, that's why she's selling Lawrence, coochie. What did you do? I made a decision for us. It felt like the only way out. So I shot myself. In the heart. I uh, thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. Probably had a lung. Great. Yeah. Uh, at least that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Hitting the lung is gonna take you a little longer to die. You're uh, gonna suffocate, bro. That dream. Being drown in your own blood. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. I did what I could to keep her away, but she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. Go away. Just fucking go away. Oh, we gotta I'm tell him. Sorry to inform you, but your wife has been killed. No. No. No, no, no. I knew this would happen. No, I'm sorry. I am. But I'm gonna need you to help me find whoever did this. So you need to try and remember anything that could possibly help us. Fucking Georgie. Who? Lawrence, I, uh... Do you... Are you expecting anyone? Good thing we came through the window. See who it is. No, wait. We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. 
I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Think about your wife. Give me back the gun, just in case. Just keep looking. See what he's doing. I'm not gonna do nothing yet. So here. No. Bro, I, I he was about to shoot himself. Hey, stop. I had Leave to do me something. We guys. It was mad delayed. I've been pressing the A button. I think he went through this one. Yes, sir. No way this big dude did that. But I break it. That's crazy to me. Son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why were you looking through books, huh? The same thing you should be doing. Investigating. Looking for clues. The fuck you doing hiding in closets? Fuck, man. Fuck, man! I'm asking the questions. You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions too. Not looking for anybody. Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Huh. Oh, don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> he clocked my shit. You almost looked peaceful. Where the hell were you? Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. You seen him doing that to me? Come on, get up. 
I mean, you couldn't have done anything, but... <laughs> we should check in on Toad. See if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. The way she was explaining what happened to me is like she had a damn bucket of popcorn sitting back watching that shit. I forgot about and we ended up going out the Toad. window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. And we made that big ass hole. I don't think anybody's here. We came all this way for nothing. Damn, I probably should have came to Toad first, bro. But All Prince right, Lawrence was about to kill him, so. It's over now. <laughs> Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. Mm -mm. What's going on? What do you mean? Nothing's going on, Bigby. I don't know what you mean. Truly. False alarm is all. Sorry. Uh-uh-uh. I heard some stuff going on. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around Why here you in such anymore. a rush to get me out of here? I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... Fine, relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Don't worry, I don't got nothing going on for the day. Be good. CJ, are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could perhaps let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. You're being sus. You keep saying nothing and wasting my time and you want us to leave. Like, you're, you're making it way too obvious that something happened here. Why you didn't clean up your lamp, huh? This happened. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Or the boy was faffing about, or playing salts and like, saltfish. Like magic, huh? Who knows with the lad? It flew off like whoosh. Your lock's busted too. This place is falling apart. Eh? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. For Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Mm. What else we got? Uh oh. Hmm. What happened here? The poker? What of it? There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. Oh, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother now. 
the wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Yeah, I see you lying your way out of it pretty good. Still not done yet. And they smacked you with that thing. I've really been meaning to clean the place. There's more blood over here. Oh? Really? Yeah, still fresh. Well, like I told you, I cut me hand. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rap. Must have got some on furnishments. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Why aren't you bleeding? Well, like I said, I heal fast. Takes a lot to leave a scratch. You know how it is. All right, he talked his way out of that one. We not done though. Oh my God, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight. And I don't know why you cover for it. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just going to make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. What else we got? There's some stuff up there, but I can't reach it. now if it's blood you know what happened no. I... there's marks here on the window so and what's that about no real reason just last night when i'd come out i was in a, a downright dizzy mate as you would be <laughs> and i plum forgot the keys to this place and i had to climb in through the bloody window really scared junior off to death but the thing is busted Heard uh, the new uh, Shaking Stevens album yet? Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Thought you wouldn't need keys since the lock's broken. So exactly. Why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb huh? in through Can't the window? Can't got your tongue? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing. You're bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. <laughs> my comb is green. It looks like I'm not. Looks, yo, this looks trippy as hell. This is fire, dude. <laughs> um, okay. Back on track, back on track, back on track. I think I got all my evidence now. Uh, let me talk to you before I talk to your son. Place needs a bit of dusting, I suppose. I know something's off here, Toad. I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Bigby. There's nothing going on. There's just there's just nothing to tell. Come on, spit it, it out, bro. See for yourself. Everything has its explanation. You'll see. Honestly, Toad, I don't know if I will. And I don't know if I've got the patience to reverse engineer whatever scheme this is. Big boy's in the other room, Big B. Come on now. We're friends, right? I mean, I called you in. What the hell would I hit him for? 
Relax. Yes, he needs to be scared. He's tripping. Sitting here lying. Okay, there was something up here that it wouldn't let me get. You guys see what I'm talking about up there? Okay, what yeah. you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something. I mean, who knows? Uh uh, uh uh. That lamp, my boy. Threw it. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running, didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I did it. some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Bigby. Come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Bigby. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here, in my own bloody home. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad? Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me. I don't think... Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. There you go to Mark. We found it. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a twiddle, thumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, well, Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. Mm -mm. We even tried to That's get a tough spot. A coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes. Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I we'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Oh, yuck. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's a 
an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. My luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Don't Prince. make it a dilemma. Open it. Prince Lawrence is dead? Just open it. Yeah, I'm gonna open it. I'm sorry. Fade. What could she have been sorry for? I don't Being a know. whore? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just tired, y'all. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Later. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip trap. This is like his fifth cigarette, I think. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know. Someone who will know where to find him. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I have no idea, bro. I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. Faith was in trouble. Afraid of someone. I need to find out who might be whoever she was working for. There's still a lot of questions. We find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, and go from there. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. Mm. Thanks. I for wish you. there was. Oh, <laughs> okay. Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... Somebody speak. It's nothing. I just... Awkward. Today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to prostitution. I, I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these should have just been quiet. Folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, 
I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You should get out of there. If it's as bad as you say it is, maybe there are better ways to get things done outside of the system. It's something I have to consider. Never took you for a quitter. We're not talking about me. <laughs> They have good chemistry, I like it. Yeah, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. As usual. Big B. I... Um, just... Be careful. Bro, spit it out. Please. Golly. Oh, my back. Mm. The same goes for you. I will. The trip trap bar, the trip trap bar. Everybody loves a trip trap bar. What do you want, Sheriff? Ah. I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd pop in and say hello. Well, fucking hello. Now you can get the fuck out of here. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. Why you keep looking at him? No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. <laughs> don't let him tell you what to do. You're your own woman. Well, this is me talking, Big B. Fuck off. Nice. I could look around. But you said he hasn't been here in a couple of weeks, but he's you got his picture on the wall. Seems he's like he's a, Yeah, he's a regular, right? Definitely I don't a regular. Know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. <laughs> Alright, now you're making it sus. This is exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna take that matchbook. A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. Can I just... Can you get a refund? Fuck you. The word's getting out. You'll never guess where I found the other one of these. No, I won't. His place. Can I just go walk into... Walk somewhere else? Nope. Oh, let's look at this. You guys playing right now? Nah. If you're not playing, then you don't mind if I, uh... WD, Woodsman. H? Well, that'd be you, Holly. So... Who's WD? No idea. Because it's also the first letter in the name. Woodsman. 
Yeah, I get it. Alright, I don't need any more cigarettes. Um... Half empty glass. Let's check that out. Whose is that? I don't Someone know. Who left. Oh. Oh what oh yeah, why didn't you dump it, huh? Why didn't you dump it? If you want a cleaner place, feel free to get the fuck out of here. How would that make it cleaner? I'm sensing a very hostile tone from you. I don't deny it, but I'm good at picking up on this stuff. Yo, a seat right next to him is crazy. Well, stools in this place. But there's only one right next to you. <laughs> Yo, I love Big B, you bro. Order something, or are you just here to bother my customers? Take a Jack Daniel. Well, that's copyrighted. I'll take a whiskey on the you rocks. Give me a Midas gold. You the, want wine? the hell is that a beer? Sure. Yeah. Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. Yo, what's your beef with me, dude? This is serious, Holly. Harboring a fugitive is gonna get you in as much trouble as he's in. You could lose everything. Uh oh. Who's that? Huh? That's tough. <laughs> That's why they were trying to get my ass out of here. Yes, sir. That's why they were trying to get my ass out of here. Yo, the smile is priceless. Number one or number two? Number one or number two? For your sake, uh, I hope it was two. Otherwise, you're probably shitting your pants right now. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. <laughs> What the fuck are you? Who the hell? I just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Oh, we are. I uh... don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Okay, Grim. Yo. Here, here in New York, they would have they would have jacked that as assaulting Funny. a police officer. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you, Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> well, I'm the bad guy, and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. You know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? Amongst other things, sure. <laughs> it's funny. Shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. What are you talking about exactly? Red Riding Hood? Her grandmother? I was there to rob him. I thought you were talking about the prostitute. Up, you were 
already there, lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. Wow, so you didn't turn I into a- I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> How good that did. I don't care about this shit. Did you kill Faith? What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead? Bigby, listen, I, I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? Kind of do. They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby, please. Y you can't. They'll throw me down the witching well. That's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Hey! Stop! This isn't what I want! Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. When they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? <laughs> lapdog. Lapdog? Really? Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork. Waiting rooms and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before and it doesn't end well. I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Get your That's ass all up. Got. Seem to be enough. I want some more. Hell yeah, Don't pause. Be so sure. Oh. Ew! What big ass sperm so? Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the. I still am. Don't worry about me. To wake me up, about to wake me up, gang. What the hell kind of weak ass hit was that? Now you want to look surprised? You want to look scared now? Nah, nah. This is what y'all wanted, right? This is how it was. This, nah, this is what y'all wanted. Yeah. My turn. I'm, I'm awakened. Enough of that. Bring your ass here. arm off nah 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 I'm not I'm not, I'm not gonna violate I would've nah I really I really would've tore his arm off 
But I'm gonna let you live, bro. Just let this be a reminder. If you do that shit again, the arm is coming with me. Now. Whiskey. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, me. Double. Don't look so scared now. What you transform for? You was about to help him jump me. Ah, and just like that, I'm back to normal. Tee hee. <laughs> oh shit. Submit a damage report with my office. Fable Town will pay for this. Charge the drink on there too. And the glass. Where are you going? Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? Hey, he started it. You hit him first! Yeah, but he was being an asshole. I did hit him first. I'm not going to cap. I'm not going to cap. All right. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Oh, yeah. I'm on your ass. Yeah. You see it? Fuck. Oh, fuck. I forgot. I got to make a decision. Man, adrenaline kicked in. I'm going after this fucker over here. Woodsman, peace out, bro. You got it. Fuck, man. That's not necessary. Yeah, jump. Yeah, jump me. He's the one you want, not me. Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. Bro, you got nothing it's not even about you. that. Y'all, y'all, uh, y'all assaulted an officer of the law. They're going to prison, bro. Oh shit, this is a long ass episode, dude. But well, they're all pretty long, though. Pause. <laughs> Pause, bro. <laughs> oh. Do anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. Ew. Why is it always shit happening in my house, dude? In front of my house. Well, building. The hell? Beauty? What happened to beauty? Okay, he's disgusted. What the fuck happened? This is why I gotta stop smoking, bro. Because what the fuck? I played this and didn't even remember that, dude. Something very special. What? I should have never let her come home by herself. Your brother. Oh, fuck you. Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Where's the rest of her? Serial killer. Oh. Oh my, a serial killer. Oh God, and it's one of us. Wait, the watchman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. No. You shouldn't be here. It's not safe. You told him? It doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. We can arrange that. Uh. What did you do? Friend on friend. At the end of the end. Ooh. Jesus Christ. What the 
What the hell are me and Beast fighting for? Nah, this is yo, bro. Well, I've been taking a break from smoking for the past couple of months. I'm I'm capping. It's been about like a couple of weeks, or maybe a yeah, a couple of weeks. Yo, I did not remember that about Snow White. When the fuck? When was they able to kill her, bro? When was they able to kill her? The 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 bar is not that far from their house. Wow, dude. Right, let's look at our choices so we can wrap this up. Okay, did you give Faith your money? You and 53.5% of players held on to your money. Did you tell Beast the truth about beauty? You and 18%, 18.2 players told the truth. Bro, what the hell am I lying for, bro? I don't owe nobody loyalty. I'm cool with beauty and Beast. So I might as well just stay neutral, bro, and just say what I saw. Like, <laughs> where did you go first? You and 43.4% of players went to see Prince Lawrence before helping Toad. What happened to Prince Lawrence? You prevented Prince Lawrence's death. Bro, bro, I knew I wasn't tripping. I was looking at what dumb or D, whatever brother that was, and in the corner of my eye, I see Prince Lawrence moving. I thought he was getting up, but no, boy had the gun to his dome about to off himself. I had to jump out the closet because I was just going to stay in the closet and see what the, what the dude did. Wow, but at least we prevented him from dying. Who is your prime suspect? You and 20.4% of players pointed their fingers at Faith's pimp. Yes, that's the only one that made sense. That is literally the only one that makes sense. Who the, who's the bald dude on the on the bottom right? Ugh. I don't suspect. I, I didn't suspect the husband. Not after what we saw at the apartment in that sob story. The brothers, eh? They seemed like they was on their own little vendetta to figure out what even happened to Faith. So I wouldn't suspect them. The um, I'm shocked. I'm shocked the woodsman is not higher than, than the brothers at the bottom left. But the only one that really makes sense is the pimp. So who did you arrest? When it came down to the wire, you and 51.6 of players made sure Tweedle D didn't get away. Okay, so it was about a, a split. Uh, it's, a, it's almost like a 50-50 split. But I was going after D because, bro... I, I don't know I, I'm good at sympathizing with people Like I felt like it's, It really sounded like The woodsman didn't do it I heard it in his voice Okay Cool Oh Alright ladies and gentlemen That's gonna be the end of this video I hope you guys really enjoyed it I hope you guys Enjoyed my, Like how I'm in, I'm enjoying this That was fire I forgot a lot of things, even though, like I said in the beginning, I've played this before. But like I said, guys, hitting them trees, bro. And I haven't played this in like a like a while, like a couple of years. I don't remember some stuff. That was that was all new to me again. That's a that's that's crazy, bro. Snow White? What the hell? I should have went with her, dude. I should have went with her. Wow. But all right, guys, this is the end of this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you turn that notification bell on and sub up to the channel be to um, see when I drop episode two, okay? Without further ado, I'm out. Peace.